throughout the years we've had required reading from probably junior high to college uh, these novels at least the first three have one common denominator a removal of passion love literature a controlled environment a dismal future clockwork orange is a different look at the future it stands out because the antagonist the story is about redemption. Everything comes full circle. Whatever is good is evil. Whatever is evil is good. A decade later, Stanley Kubrick coming off 2001 A Space Odyssey directed a masterpiece, not a commercial success at first, pulled from Britain cinemas for copycat crimes. The film actually has two endings. A lot of people don't know this. The first ending is when Alex goes completely crazy, jumps out the window, the camera does a tailspin into the cement and he wakes up in the hospital, being force fed in the media, loving him at every moment. And the narrative says, I was cured alright, as he sees two naked people wrestling with ongoers cheering. The alternative ending, the edited ending, he just plummets out the window, the camera does a tailspin hits the cement, and end credits, and singing in the rain starts, and there's no hospital scene at all. The wreckage shop scene has some easter eggs, notice the 2001 motion picture soundtrack right next to Alex's hip, above the salesman is the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour, and the 1980s band group Heaven 17 got the name of their group from this scene. What's up all my brothers and sisters? I had taken a picture of these two, so I figured I'd do some film footage. They look handsome, don't they? Um, this is a tricky one because of the derby. It's not removable, so to get light for me to do this, it's like I'm actually like fooling around with the light just so you could see some shadowing maybe see like uh, maybe the paint app from one side there but I have to get under him with the light as I'm trying here it's a little tricky there you go um, it's just incredible I mean this is an old release to my knowledge I don't know the date if I had a guess I'd say between 2012 2014 that's just a guess um, Let's see. Yeah, this is a better view. Now, Malcolm McDowell's eyes are really that piercing blue. If, I mean, if you watch the film, you'll see him, especially if he's crying or something. But, um, I mean, it's just phenomenal. This, this, this was made so long ago, and it just holds up like it was made this morning. The hair is great, sculpt. Yeah, get the camera, I mean, the light under him. You get more of that evil Alex look. I actually apologize for the shaky camera. I don't know what the fuck's up. But, um, yeah, so the head sculpt in the paint app is just through the roof as always. No one's surprised. It's old news. But I had to include it because Brain Man's a genius and he's my favorite artist. You ready to throw up? Now look how vomitous these recasts are. I mean, the reason why I inserted them right here is because your eye just left the original head sculpt, so it'll be fresh in your brain. And these are just horrendous. And this is a big problem in the hobby, especially for custom artists. Red Man Toys, um, you got some enemies out there, my friends. I guess that's why you changed your name to Dark Toys, but they're making a they're making some loot off a of rain man All right, let me just try and adjust the light the shirt he's wearing it looks like corduroy but it really I don't think it is it's like a very soft cotton very if, if you feel it with your fingers it's hard to tell by your eye because I always thought it would be like a thick corduroy but it isn't 
I want to talk about the boots because those were the things I was mostly amazed with when I picked this guy up. I thought he would have like hard leather sculpted boots. So these are very, very thin material feeling leather or pleather or whatever. I don't know who made them. I don't know if this is Yunsel. I don't know. I, I'm assuming maybe because they look like they're put together. They don't feel like a mold or a cast, but they're very, very, uh, they stood out when I took it out of the box. And, uh, his jock strap is like a satiny feeling. In the book, actually, the, the jock strap was the masquerade part. The masquerade faces were on the, on the, uh, jock strap and their outfits were all black they weren't white that was a shot of well that really was one of the extras the cufflinks but since it's glued onto them I wanted to show it there uh, the pants are a very thin cotton you know very flexible for kicking and stomping and beating up people so but they're really high quality if you feel them with your fingers the same with the shirt like I said it's very very well made So I just wanted to show you like an overview of the whole outfit. It's, it's a little bright there, but um, what's good about this guy, opposed to other custom figures, because of the singing in the raid sequence was probably in the latter half of the first act, right before he gets caught and all that. You have a lot of good poses with the cane. You have to put the milk aside, of course, but you could have them in some really nice dancing poses. This is kind of mellow, but I just wanted you to get an idea of uh, the possibilities, maybe. You don't have to have them in a statuesque pose like most of the customs. You don't really want to play with them. This is also very delicate, the body, I, I forgot to mention. So be careful. You know, these are very fragile. They're not really f for playing around, moving around and stuff. That's just my opinion. You could do what you want with your stuff, but I don't know. There's another nice shot of the cuff link right there. Gee, I hope that doesn't fall off. A regular shoebox style with string serves its purpose. Uh, stand with a decal. There's no word uh, uh, clockwork orange, but I usually use regular generic black ones. Uh, bust of Beethoven on a pillar. This was a gimme. This does not come with the original set. This is from a, an, another uh, company. COA 3 of 10, Gang Boy, DX. This I was surprised about. I thought this was going to be like flimsy silicone rubber, but it's actually a hard sculpt. And it's very impressive. I'm just nervous about taking his head off to put it on. I don't think it'll stretch over the derby. So. I'm just going to leave it be for now until I get further instructions from one of you droogies out there. Glass of milk with mescaline inside. Very nicely done. A cane with a knife that pulls out if you want to you know, do the poster art with him holding the knife. That would be great. Nice look. Very well done. JC is one of the Rockettes. In other words, Kubrick is a satirist. These are very, very delicate. I just want to put them uh, in the lineup here just so you can see a comparison with his other fellow Droogies. And uh, it looks great. It really looks great. His distant cousins from Cult King. That corduroy, that jacket's corduroy, so you can see the big difference when I was saying corduroy before. But uh, I'm gonna get going, fellas. This was a fun video to make, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, as always. 
Vidi well, my brothers, vidi well. Thank you.